Hello Internet, I'm Mihai, it is part 12. Let's use the shared library in the init stage. Open your favorite IDE, mine is IntelliJ. Open deploy app Jenkins file, very good. In the first line, load the shared library. Let's do it. Add new lines and write the code. Add library. Open the parentheses, write value equals I need to copy the library name, go to Jenkins Manage Jenkins Configure System Scroll down to Global Libraries It is here It is the library name, copy it Paste it in the Jenkins file Comma Change log equals false space underscore save the file. I set change log to false. Later I will explain why I did this. In the init stage, here, write the comment. Read pipeline configuration. Super. Save the file. Now open the pipeline shared libd project. It is here and create a new folder, src. Enter. Create a new folder, cicd. Good. And now create a groovy class, deployment configs. New groovy class, select class, deployment, configs, enter. Edit to git, very good. I want to show you how to create this file in case you don't use IntelliJ. So open your file explorer, open the repository, open the src folder, CICD, and here is the file. You have to create a file deployment-configs.groovy. And it is all. Very easy. I will show you it in IntelliJ. See here you have the deployment configs class. But if you look at the top name, it is deployment-configs.groovy. So IntelliJ lied to me. Be very careful. Here the class name can be different from the file name. Let's create the first variable. Write public static dev variable name job instance equals null. Public is an access modifier. It means the variable will be available in the entire pipeline. Static means it will be only one instance of job instance variable. Dev is the variable type. When you are not sure about the variable type, you write dev. And null means the variable will have no value at the moment the shared library is loaded. Very good. Now let's set the value to the job instance. Go to Jenkins file and write deployment configs dot job instance equals this. This is the running pipeline instance. We need it when we want to use some Jenkins functions. I will show it later. Now I want to tell the pipeline where deployment configs class is located. In the second line, create a new line and write import space. Now go to pipeline shared library project. Copy the repository path. Open the Jenkins file and paste it. Now remove src, replace slash with dot and remove groovy. You know what? I want to add the deployment configs class inside a new folder. So go to pipeline shared library repository, create a new package or a new directory, name it config 
and move the class inside that folder. Perfect. You can see here config was added, save the file, and if I go to File Explorer, I am inside the CI CD folder, I open config and I see deployment configs.groovy. Again, copy the path, repository root, go to Jenkins file and paste it. Delete src, write dot, write dot again and remove groovy. Semicolon, save the file. Deployment configs here must be the same value as the class name. Very good. The stage is ready. Let's commit and run it. Check Jenkins file changes. I loaded the shared library. Apply it. And I set the job instance value. Apply it. Write the commit message. Set job instance, new line, load, shared library. Commit. Commit anyway. And now push. It was pushed. Now go to deployment configs. Check the changes. I already see I have a mistake. Instead of static, you must write static. It is good now. Save. Check the changes. It is OK. Apply. And write a commit message. Create it. Deployment configs. Class. New line. Load. Paired. Library. Commit and push. Push. Go to Jenkins. Open the folder. Open the pipeline. And run it. While it is running, I want to remind you how it is configured. Scroll down. You see the main branch. You see the Jenkins file path and you see the repository. So, go back to pipeline dashboard, the pipeline finished, open it, and here are the logs. I see here the pipeline loaded the shared library from the main branch, and if I scroll down, it is also the main branch. Scroll down, I will not see the job instance variable because no log is printing it, but it was loaded. I have the pipeline status success. It is time to create the global configuration. Go to Shared Library Project, create a new directory, Resources, create a new file, global-configs.yaml, edit to git. It is this file, empty for now, and I will write git, colon, and an empty object. I will populate it in the next episodes. I have the file, now I want to read it. Go to deployment configs class, create a new variable, public, static, it is map, because yaml is a map, and I write the variable name global configs equals null. Now I want to write the comment for the variable slash star new line and write the comment configuration from Jenkins lib B for bold, close the bold tag and write the path to global configurations file. Copy the path from repository root and paste it in the comment. Save the file. 
write public static map load global configs open parentheses and open curly brackets it is a method and I want this method to load the global configs from this file and save it in global configs variable let's start writing final final means the variable cannot be changed the variable type is string global configs resource equals deployment configs dot job instance and now I want to use a method provided by the pipeline instance and the pipeline instance is saved in the job instance remember we saved it here in this step now write library resource global configs dot yaml it is this file and library resource always looks in the resources folder very good save the file new line now I have the global configs file in a string format so I need the string to be converted to a map I write deployment configs dot job instance dot now go to Jenkins remember we installed the plugin I will show it manage plugins installed search for pipeline utility steps it is this plugin you must have it and once you have installed it you go to your pipeline open the folder open the pipeline pipeline syntax snippet generator and search for read read yaml generate pipeline script copy it and pass in the load global configs method very good now write text colon and copy the variable paste it here so the read yaml method will take the global configs resource as a string and convert it to a map once I have the map I want to save it in the global configs variable so I copy the class name put it here dot global configs equals the map which will be returned by read yaml very good I want to print this map write deployment configs dot job instance dot echo and write debug colon space plus deployment configs dot global configs I also want to add a comment to do remove it after debug enter new line and now I want to return the map return deployment configs class dot global configs remember one thing when your method returns something you have to have the return statement very good save the file check the git changes I edit the global configs file apply it and I created the global configs variable and load global configs map I want also to modify one thing just add a new splat and check the documentation if I put the mouse over I have the text configuration from Jenkins lib and the path like I wrote here above so apply it write the comment message load global configs commit and push very good now go to Jenkins file create a new line and write deployment configs dot 
go to shared library, copy the method name and paste it here in the Jenkins file. Open parenthesis, semicolon, save the file. Very good. Go to commits, check the changes, I just edit one line, apply it and write the commit message load global configs. Commit and push. Go to Jenkins pipeline, open the pipeline and click build now. Wait 3 seconds. The pipeline finished its work. Open the logs. Scroll down. And here you see the loaded map. It has a git element and the git has an empty object. And the pipeline is success. The last thing I want to do is to read the pipeline name. Here is the pipeline name in the URL. Now go to Jenkins file, create a new line and write the comment. Set initial environment variables. New line. Now I want to print all environment variables. Write sh, it calls the shell command and write the command env. Semicolon, save the file. Also add a comment to do remove it after debug. Save again and check the git changes. I see I added a new line and a new shell command. Apply it and write the commit message print environment variables commit and push. Go to Jenkins, run the pipeline again, build now, wait 3 seconds, open the logs, scroll down, it is here, I call the env command and it printed all environment variables. I need one variable, it is job base name, copy it. You see, it is showing us the Node.js backend deploy pipeline name. So I copy it. Now go to vars folder in the Jenkins sleep project. It is here and create a new file. New file read pipeline name dot groovy. Save add close other files and start writing. Create the call method public void call open parenthesis open curly brackets and paste here the job base name. I will delete it later. So, the method should be named call. It is very important. If you put here any other name, the Jenkins pipeline will not be able to call the read pipeline name method. Very good. Now, create a string variable, final, string, job base name, equals env, env points to the map with all environment variables and now passed here the environment variable. Semicolon and as a help you write the comment. Repository name underscore deploy. New line. I want to split the job base name, create a list variable, final, list, the list will contain string elements. I will zoom in a bit so that you can see it better. Keep writing. Split. Job. Base. Name. Equals. Job base name. It is it. Dot. Split. And write the regular expression. Underscore. 
semicolon, save the file. Very good, now I want to extract the values. Create two variables, the first one is the project name, final, string, project name, equals split job base name, and in the square brackets you write the element number. I want the first element, so I write zero, because Groovy starts counting from zero. Create the second variable, final, string, pipeline, action, name, equals split job base name and the second element, so I write one. Excellent. Now create new environment variables. You write and square brackets, double quotes, and inside double quotes you write lowercase p underscore capital project underscore capital name equals project name. Copy the line and instead of project name you write pipeline action name. Very good. And assign the value of pipeline action name. So the read pipeline name file is ready. Let's delete the first line, other way it will cause the pipeline to fail. Perfect. Let's check the commit changes. I see I created a new file. Apply the changes and write the commit message. Read pipeline name. Commit and push. Very good, it was pushed. Go to Jenkins file. Create a new line and pass the file name. So back to pipeline shared library repository. Copy the file name. I copied it. Cancel. Go to Jenkins file and paste it. Parenthesis, semicolon, save the file. Check git changes. Apply and write the commit message. Read pipeline name. Commit and push. Good job. Go to Jenkins and run the pipeline. Build now. And wait 3 seconds. It finished. Open the logs. Scroll down. Here is the empty map. Now it printed the environment variables. Here is the action name. The deploy. Here is the job base name. And deploy. It is it. Scroll down, project name and it is Node.js backend, the same value as in the job base name. Very good, you did a good job and now I want to tell you about the change log calls. Open the Jenkins file, scroll up, remember I promised you to explain why it is false. So very simple, go to Jenkins dashboard, I mean pipeline dashboard, and see here this list of no changes, no changes, no changes, no changes, no changes. It is no changes because I set change log to false. If I had set change log as true, I would have now the changes count. For example, I would have here one or two, and here I would have some number, and here some number, but I don't want it, so change log will stay as false. I finished the work on the init stage. Open the pipeline diagram, select init, select the white color, save the file, open the configuration folder, here is the diagram I modified, open the terminal here, and check the git status. 
You see, I modified the diagram now. I want to commit it. So I write git add dot. Dot means I will add all the files and folders from the configuration directory to git stage. Press enter. Check the git status again. The diagram was added to the stage. Now I can commit git commit dash m for the message, double quotes, complete it, init, stage, new line, load, shared, library, close double quotes, enter, check git status, nothing to commit, and my branch is ahead of origin main by one commit. Let's push it. Write git, push, enter, and it was pushed. It is all. Thank you for watching.